Okay, so um, we've talked about Carnot principles and the Carnot cycle that always uses ideal processes and reversible processes. Uh, so, you know, we looked at that. Uh, let's see here. The Carnot cycle, um, you know, one to two is an isothermal expansion. Two to three is a reversible adiabatic. Um, and then we go another isothermal, another adiabatic. Uh, these expansions, exp expansions and compressions, these are the best possible, the most ideal. Uh, these are the best processes. All right, so a Carnot heat engine uses these processes. And uh, we really, the very end of last, um, last video, um, I briefly mentioned this, might should really go into detail more of that, but for a reversible process, the QH over QL is the same as the TH over TL, the TH and TL, the absolute temperatures of the sources, the hot source and the um, low temperature sink. So let's go back to heat engines. The thermal efficiency for a heat engine is, we had a few equations, but one of them was one minus QL over QH. So for a reversible, a Carnot heat engine, an ideal heat engine, the very best heat engine we can get, the thermal efficiency, a reversible heat engine, is one over TL over TH. Those T's have to be absolute temperatures of the source and the sink. This is the Carnot efficiency. Uh, this is the best possible efficiency. So if it asks for, uh, if it tells you that this is a Carnot heat engine, then we can use that efficiency. If it tells you that it is, if it asks what is the best efficiency we can get, it's this that, that we're talking to. Uh, all right, so you can tell by this uh, equation that the thermal efficiency can be maximized by either, you know, how, how can this number be the largest? Uh, well, if we can minimize this, right? Uh, efficiency is never going to be 1, you know, is it point six seven is it point five you know five two or something uh if we minimize this how can we minimize this by either maximizing this or minimizing this so uh, the efficiency can be maximized by supplying heat at the highest or as high a temperature as possible and or rejecting heat let's see temperature so we're talking about th right there possible and or rejecting heat at the lowest temperature, TL. Okay, so the higher the temperature of the source or the lower the temperature of the sink, then the better the efficiency. For a Carnot heat engine, the higher the, the TH, the higher the efficiency. Uh, quality, quality. Why is this true? All right, why is this true? Uh, because the higher temperature... Thermal energy can be easily more converted to work. Uh, so the higher the temperature, the higher the quality of the temperature. We're not going to entropy per se just yet, but uh, that's the idea, that the higher temperature uh, can be more easily, or more of it can be converted to work. Uh, so we say that the higher temperature, the, the higher quality of that work. Okay, uh, all, all we need from this page is that now for for Carnot efficiencies or for the best possible efficiencies, we can take those QLs and, and QHs, replace them with TLs and THs. All right, so let's look at a, an example. All right, so if Carnot heat engine receives 500 kilojoules of heat per cycle from a high temperature source at 652 degrees Celsius and rejects heat to a low temperature sink at 30 degrees Celsius, determine the thermal efficiency. Okay of the Carnot heat engine and the amount of heat rejected to the sink per cycle. All right, so what is this? Step number one, what is it really telling you? Uh, so first of all, hey, it tells us it is a Carnot heat engine. All right, so I know that I can use the TLs, THs. Uh, heat engine receives 500 kilojoules. That's a heat. Uh, is that QH or QL? It, it receives it from a high temperature source. That is QH, right? The QH of 500 degrees or 500 
kilojoules from a high temperature source, all right, that right there, that temperature, that is the TH. Uh, but let me be careful, I probably need to convert that to Kelvin uh, for my equations. That right there is a Q, uh, sorry, is a temperature, TL. But I need to convert it to uh, Kelvin. All right, so the thermal efficiency. Thermal efficiency for a heat engine is 1 over QL over QH. I do have QH, I don't have QL. Uh, or the thermal efficiency for a reversible for a Carnot. Because I knew this was a Carnot, uh, this was 1 minus TL over TH. 1 minus, but I can't just do 30. Uh, I've got to convert it to Kelvin. 30 plus 273. 652 plus 273. You see mathematically how 30 over 652 is different from, uh, you know, whatever this is, 303 over whatever this is, 925, I think. Uh, this uh, is 0 0.672, 67.2%. That is the thermal efficiency of this Carnot heat engine that operates between a source at 652 and a sink at 300 degrees C. Now, part B, uh, what is the amount of heat rejected to the sink, the low temperature sink, QL? I know QH, I need QL. Well, hey, I know that QH over QL of a reversible, and this is reversible, is equal to TH over TL. And so I have all three of these. Um, I can find the QL right here. So QH, 500 kilojoules. QL, I don't know. TH, 652 plus 273. Make sure it is absolute. 30 plus 273. I would get a QL, 164 kilojoules. So, so we've got another, you know, another couple of equations that we can use if it says it's reversible, or if it says it's the absolute best or if it says it's a Carnot, which is what this one did. This one told us it was a Carnot uh, heat engine.